Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownloadBlog. Today we're taking a look at iOS 12 Beta 4, all the new features, changes, and bugs and bugs fixes. So the first big one for me would be in the phone application. You now have the ability to change audio sources, which on beta 3, that was still a bug for me. So now when you're in the phone call, uh, you can choose your audio sources, whereas before that menu would take up to 10 seconds to appear if it appeared at all. However, one bug that is still here for some people, including me, is on the Apple Watch. Instead of getting text from contacts, you're getting text from numbers. Uh, so that is not syncing with your contacts. And it's also happening on my Mac with iMessage. Um, so some people have seen that fit but for me in beta 4 that is still an issue. So one change would be new animations for the activity menu for sharing. We have a few more options here and you can see when compared to beta 3 we do have a few more options. Additionally when you are taking a picture in iMessage and then you go ahead and go into the effects you can see that the shapes are now animated. So we have some animated shapes in here whereas in the previous beta these were not animated so that's nice to see. Additionally, we have a couple new options in Memojis. If you go over into nose and lips, we have a couple more options for lips. So now you have nine. So if before you were upset that you couldn't find your exact lips, well, here you go. You now have those options. Additionally, the jewelry, the earrings, um, have been updated to be a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more reflective and metallic. So that is a change there. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of the battery menu there is a pretty small difference. There's just a little bit of text telling you what you are looking at. So if we wait for that to load and we go down shows proportion of battery used by each app. Um, very small but that is there now and you can see you do have your insights and suggestions in there and you have your standard things that we saw before. Now when you search for something in the app store it'll also give you a little notification if it is a developer or if it's a different category it will tell you that whereas before that was all the same and now you can see it also has a little person next to the developer. In cellular this is actually a pretty nice change instead of listing your applications alphabetically it now shows it by usage which is pretty smart and you can see what the main culprit hogging your data bill is and you can act accordingly. In control center for the airdrop you can see that we do have a little bit larger text and it's hard to compare from the previous version but that is just a little bit bigger than the previous beta 3. And those are essentially the big changes in beta 4. Nothing crazy uh, along with some animation differences when scrolling uh, but if you want to see more you can check out idownloadblog.com and subscribe for more videos just like this. Thanks for watching.